Hello. We all know that writing is one of the most painful activities. It's a process in which you have to jot down your ideas, do some brainstorming, then you organize your ideas, you eliminate certain things, you add, you write, you rewrite, etc. Today we are going to do some writing. Let's start with sorting out some arguments about modern technologies into advantages and the drawbacks in this table. So here we are going to classify them, benefits and drawbacks. So let's start with reading the ideas. A. Technology improves daily lives. So what do you think? Is it an advantage or a drawback? Mm -hmm. So here you put it here. An advantage. It improves. It makes it better, easier, etc. Sentence B. Machines can replace the human mind, thus an increase in unemployment. So what happens when machines replace persons doing certain, certain jobs? It creates unemployment or in Arabic it's al-bitala. So instead of creating some jobs, it creates unemployment. So it's of course, it's a drawback. Next idea, C. Scientists were able to send astronauts to the moon thanks to th technology. So this is, of course, an advantage. Next, D. Internet use is an individual freedom. However, the invention of the atomic bomb is not. So what do you think here? Is it an advantage or a drawback? Yes, so here we understand that modern technology or modern inventions such as the atomic or nuclear bomb is a bit dangerous. So there is danger here. There is a threat if we don't know how to use it. Hmm? So this is a drawback, D. Next, technology can help treat sick people and combat harmful viruses and bacteria and consequently save many lives. So here, as we may understand, it's the use of modern technology in treating people, in saving people's lives, in medicine, in medical causes. So it's, of course, an advantage put it here. Next one, with internet, industry has become more productive and trade and tourism have grown and become easier. So industry is more productive, more production, productive, Montija. Trade, in Arabic it's Atijara. So trade and tourism have grown, they become bigger and bigger. So it's, of course, all these are negative aspects, sorry, pos positive aspects. So here, F, an advantage. Let's see the last one. Dependence on new technology is uh, harmful. A simple example is the calculator. Even if it is a good invention, man no longer makes mental calculation or works his memory. So here, when you say dependence, it's also, in a certain way, addiction or al-idmin. So you could be addicted to your mobile phone, you could be addicted to internet, you could be addicted to computer games, etc. Huh? And here, addiction is always uh, negative, so we put, put it here, drawback. Let's have a look at the last sentence. With the invention of the computer, communication is enhanced and research is simplified. 
so computer, modern technology, etc. Mm -hmm. What does it do to communication? It enhances it or it makes it stronger and better. And research is simplified or simpler. Okay, so you use it for your education, for your studies, for making research, etc. So it's for a good reason. We put it in advantages. So here, these ideas, you can use them in writing a paragraph about, for example, benefits of a mobile phone, or the other way, you can write an article about the drawbacks of computers, or about anything else. Thank you very much.